What's up everybody, it's your boy Muker. Uh, I'm wearing my glasses today because for the past week I uh, have had COVID. So I haven't been putting in my contacts and this morning I was laying in bed like I have this past week and I just didn't put in contacts. So I'm just putting on my glasses for this video. Um, for breakfast, I had um, fried eggs on toast. Uh, for lunch, I had a roll. And uh, for dinner, we had um, baked potatoes and that was pretty good. We actually cooked them in the crock pot um, and that was actually a little weird because we don't want to use the oven because it's pretty hot outside and we don't have air conditioning so um, we uh, we used the crock pot and it was weird and we didn't cook them enough but now we know next time how to cook them. Uh, yeah so today is a very special day and I actually have the Yeezy Gap on um, for this special occasion and it's because I've got a nondescript brown box what could possibly be in here? Get ready. I got um, this sticker, typically. I, I put this sticker here. I've already opened these. Uh, I'm, I just think the unboxing experience is pretty interesting. Uh, these are the Yeezy Foam Runner Carbons. Um, I've always wanted a pair of foam runners. Uh, before I graduated, I always saw people walking around in school wearing them, and I was like, man, those are pretty interesting. And uh, you know, then I got into shoes You know, a year and a half, two years ago. And, um, you know, it, it's just been uh, a pair of shoes I've always wanted. I've heard they're very comfortable. So, yeah, this is the unboxing experience. But I've already opened them. But, you know, uh, you open it up and it says foam, right? And uh, you have this sort of grayish sort of paper. And you take them out and then you actually have the, the foam runners themselves. Here they are. I got a size 11, which is my true to size, uh, which a lot of people didn't recommend because um, I have pretty wide feet, and people are like, oh, you have wide feet, go off the size, but, um, yeah, I just take, take this out. But yeah, the box is totally, the box is totally inside out, it just says, it says foam, foam runner, uh, and it's got, like, it, the box is inside out, which I think is pretty, pretty funny and cool. Um, Some people in their newer Yeezy boxes uh, from these most recent drops have been getting these things about like stopping anti-Semitism, uh, which, you know, I support and all. But um, I think it's interesting how I didn't get that. It makes me wonder um, if they just don't have those in the foam runner boxes or um, if they come with like exclusively like nicer shoes or, or what. But um, yeah, here they are. Um, you know, they're they're pretty light. You know, they, like I can, I can throw them around and they're like light. Uh, you can like, you can like squish them, they're like pretty easy to squish around. There's an Adidas logo in, at the bottom there. Um, it's got a pretty interesting traction pattern and uh, I guess I'll, I guess I'll put them on my feet now. Um, even though I've, I've worn them quite a bit today. Um, I got them this morning. They said they were going to arrive this morning, but it arrived like at the very beginning of the window that they said they were going to arrive in. So they actually arrived pretty much as early as, as they can get. Um, they get a little bit of getting used to when putting them on. You kind of have to put your foot, you theoretically can just jam your foot in there, but to not feel like you're breaking them, you've sort of got to put your foot in sideways and then tw like sort of twist your foot in. Um, but yeah, here they are. Uh, here they are on foot, hold on. Yeah, here they are on foot. Uh, they're pretty comfy. Let me see if my light turns on. Um, yeah, they're pretty comfortable, but you know, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. They're nice. They're good shoes. Um, they're pretty much just Crocs. Uh, I haven't actually ever worn a pair of Crocs, but um, I've heard they're very similar. And considering they're both made of, out of foam, that would make sense. Um, and yeah, they're they're a lot of fun. I really like them. Um, and you know, they they feel really good on foot. They're very comfortable. Um, you know, I've heard they're comfortable, but uh, I primarily wear like Jordan ones and like like Vans and typically shoes with very flat, uh, uncomfortable soles. Uh, so it's pretty interesting to have such a, such a squishy shoe on foot, which is, you know, nice for a change. Um, but yeah, you know, aside from that, I'm just hanging out, I'm just doing my thing. Uh, as you can tell, I feel good enough with COVID to where I'm able to get up and actually get on my computer instead of just recording in bed. Um, and yeah, I have some very minor symptoms, but I definitely think by tomorrow I'm good to go outside because I, I basically have no symptoms. Um, like, I still feel like I have to swallow and the spit goes down my throat a little slow. Um, like, the spit's bad, like, kind of sick, but I'm not coughing or anything. I'm, I'm good. 
Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. Let me let me take off the the foam runners. Something I've found uh, to be pretty useful is you can actually grab sort of these. Once your foot is kind of in there, you can kind of actually kind of grab these, and it like goes. You can like grab these holes and get your shoe on there. Because if you go like this, uh, I have eczema, so my skin scratches up against my socks. That sucks. Um, but yeah, there's also a pretty interesting like pattern on the inside that you can feel when you put them on. But apparently that goes away after a while, which you know I don't even mind the feeling. But um, yeah, I need to get a shoe rack. Look at this. Look. I have, um, I have my foam runners, my Jordan 1 mids, my 550s, and then sort of a stack of shoes that I don't really care about, and then my work boots. I, they're just sort of, they're sort of laying around. Um, and honestly, I really, really need um, a shoe rack. So I'll, I'll probably buy that today or, or tomorrow, probably. Um, I also need a laptop for college. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, it's horrible. It's horrible all the things I have to buy. I wish I didn't have to buy so many things. Um, it doesn't help that I'm buying so many silly, silly things like this. But, um, you know, I was able to grab them for retail, so. Um, uh, yeah, uh, I got size 11, uh, which is something that people didn't recommend. Uh, and the reason why, and people typically say size up, but my theory was, well, I got size 11. And if they really don't fit, it's no returns. I could probably sell them on eBay with like one wear, uh, probably around retail price. Um, and then I'll be able to buy a new pair on StockX. That's like one, one size higher, that was my theory. Um, and that, you know, I'd spend a little extra money on that, but it's good to have a pair of shoes that fits. But size 11 seems to really fit me well, so I'm, I'm happy I went true to size. I feel like if you're getting the carbon pair, go true to size. Um, I've heard that different colors is different sizing, so don't, don't do anything else for anything outside of the carbon pair. But, um, yeah, uh, it's made in China. Um, a lot of Heezy foam runners are made in Wyoming, I'm pretty sure, but um, this one wasn't, despite it being a solid color pair, which um, only the mixture pairs are typically made in China, so I don't know what's up with that. Um, what else? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, yeah, alright. See you, dude. That's a pretty cool box. Um, goodbye.